This is a 24-7, 365 facility uh, that's supplying heating and cooling. Their plan is right now, based on that, to upgrade one boiler at a time and then balance a the balance a plant cabinet. And the game plan is to do that over the next year to two, one to two years. One boiler, one cap PC cabinet at a time. ABB has continued to evolve the I.O. and come out with new hardware, but it's all compatible with the existing uh, system. As you can see, we're still running with the Network 90 I.O. Um, the customer's really looking at doing the I.O. change out on an as-need basis. Um, as a module, uh, module fails, they have been replacing it with the new Symphony Plus I.O. and as it will be as it's coming out we'll be probably using the SDIO uh, SDEIO as well the job that EBB did on this conversion tool is outstanding um, this was probably one of the things that saved us the greatest amount of time on the project because the uh, conversion of both the logic and the translation of the peer-to-peer uh, -peer I.O. was seamless. We went through, obviously, and did a full check out of each of the I.O. points, but uh, loop-to-loop -loop and module-to-module uh, -module communication points, but found absolutely no issues at all, found no problems. Uh, actually, it was very easy. We, because we, we already had uh, from a uh, previous installation of an infinite, the infinite gateway, uh, we were able to repurpose both termination units, the NTCLO1s and the NKLS01 termination cables. So for us, it was generally a matter of just uh, pulling out the old hardware from the rack, installing the NIS21s and IPT800s into the cabinet, uh, and plug everything in and within about a half an hour we had the gateway up running and we were actually able to test the full redundancy check out of it as well. I, I mean that was basically seamless, it was non-existent because, because of the backwards compatibility and the migration or evolution of the path that EVDs had with the system all of the existing I.O. that's in the system or in this boiler is fully compatible. So we had to make no changes to the I.O. hardware, wiring, or even the configuration logic. So there was no I.O. checkout required. We were only upgrading one boiler. So we were able to actually upgrade because of the existing installation, the backwards compatibility of the new hardware with the existing plant installation we were able to actually remove the old equipment the old controllers and communication modules and install the new equipment and get everything up and communicating and the new logic uh running it is that came from composer running now in uh, s plus engineering we we're able to get the whole thing up and communicating in about a day day and a half